Last year during lockdown, I became addicted to the virtual cycling platform, Ruby. And I even made a couple videos about it. My obsession led to something pretty cool and that is reason number eight why I think you should ride on Ruby. And just in case you haven't guessed what that is, let's get started on the list before I give it away. Number one, you can ride pretty much anywhere in the world and they have a great selection of races so you can use those to prepare for any races you may be planning to do but don't have the luxury of riding beforehand. And number two, affordability was a really big one for me and they also have an amazing free trial. They give you full access to use their app with no limitations for 14 days. And not to mention Ruby is only $12 per month versus $15 on some other platforms. They also allow you to share your subscription with up to two other people. So really, if you do that, it would be $4 per month per person. Number three, the structured workouts. There have been some major updates to Ruby since the last time I did a video, and one of them is their workout feature. The separate apps used to drive me crazy, but now they combine the Ruby Workouts app with the Ruby AR app. It's a lot less confusing, and the workout features on there are amazing. They combine them with their routes, so they suggest the best route for you to do to get your structured workout done most efficiently. Number four, less time required to get the workouts done. I used to ride my bike three to four times per week in group rides, and now I probably go out three to four times every six months to do a group ride. So today I've gone and done it. Drove all the way to the group ride, which is about 20 minutes away. Got my shoes on, my helmet on, and realized I left my bike home. <laughs> I just really like being able to hop on the bike within minutes of waking up without putting so much effort into getting ready. And that brings me to number five, comfort. I know it's probably making me soft, but for me, riding in the comfort of my own home ensures that I get the workout done correctly and I don't have to worry about whether I dressed appropriately for the weather and if I brought enough food or water. And I also never have to worry about wind or any other elements, which brings me to number six. This is sort of a sad reason. I lost a lot of friends in a tragic cycling accident this past year and another friend of mine was hit by a car while riding her bike and it's taking her a really long time to recover. Not to mention, I've already witnessed one guy riding his bike in front of me get hit and killed by a car. It's scary out there. The risk to reward scale has really started tipping the other direction for me this past year. Especially now that there's a good alternative like Ruby to help keep me safe. Number seven, you can also run on Ruby. Now this feature isn't really that great yet, but it's good enough to let me know that they will be working on it and eventually it's gonna be a good option. Time for number eight the big announcement time and the biggest reason why I think you should ride on Ruby. I'm not sure if it was my obsession with Ruby or the videos I made about it, but someone from Ruby reached out to me and asked me if I would like to be an ambassador. And that was an easy peasy yes on my part. My responsibilities include hosting two group rides per month. And depending on how much interest I get from some of you, I will probably do more. And I can also host some races, which I plan to do in the future with some cool prizes. If you would like to join me you can find the link to my Ruby landing page in the description. As I schedule group rides they will appear on that page and I will also announce them on Instagram and Facebook. And thanks to my amazing kid I know how to use Discord so you can join my server there and during each ride I will also be live so you guys can join that chat room and we can not just ride together but we can actually chat with each other and get to know each other on a personal level which I'm super excited about. Oh, and a big shout out to my big sister and my new friend, Simon Shi, who joined me for a practice run. If you aren't already subscribed to Simon Shi, I recommend doing so now. He's about to do his first full Ironman in Arizona this week, and I'm pretty sure he's going to go pro after that. So you can follow him now and say you've been with him since 2,000 subscribers. Anyway, I'm pretty stoked about all of this. So if you're interested, my first group ride will be 8 a.m. on November 26th. So I hope to see you there, or I mean here on Discord.